Hello, good evening. Hello, good morning. Hello. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Today we're going to start with section two. And Good night. Hello, Henry. ¿Cómo está? Fine. Thanks for asking. Hello. Good night. Yo acabo de salir de una reunión y ya va entre otra. Oh, my God. About your work, are you working? University. University. So you take English classes and you have a university. Both. You are brave. Okay, let's check the attendance. Adriana Beatriz. Present. Hello, Kimberly. Excellent. Ana Mercedes. Claribel Esmeralda. Daniel Oswaldo. Present. Dora Stephanie. Ok, Daniel. Dora. Present. Ok, Eloisa. Present. Present. Gloria Elizabeth. Yes, no. Gloria. Ah, ok. Es que a lo lejos le escucho. Henry Oswaldo. Hola. <ríe> Present. Ok. Jacqueline Beatriz. Present. Excelente. Jonathan Humberto. Present. Ok. Jose Ángel. Okay. Catherine Stephanie. No. Kimberly Natalie. Present. Okay. Lorena Araceli. I'm here. Lourdes Paola. Lourdes. Mario Antonio. Marvin Alberto. Present. Ok. Romeo Antonio. Present. Ok. Ruth del Carmen. Excellent. Veronica Elizabeth. Victor Manuel. Okay, Victor. Xiomara. Present. Excellent. And Catherine Yamilet. Okay. Did you talk with you? La contactaron, Catherine. Yeah. 
well. Okay. Yesterday we didn't practice the last conversation, I think, in, of section one. Let's practice. Can... Yes, this one. Or yes, please tell me. The name of the conversation is I get up at noon. Do we practice? Or did we practice the conversation yesterday? I think no. But please tell me, mm -hmm. did we practice this conversation? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form. Eat at this restaurant at one o'clock. At ten o'clock. No. All right. Let's go to the conversation, which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and practice. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Which is heard a conversation. Teacher, creo que se le desactivo el micrófono. Yes, yeah, sorry. Thank you. And do we have volunteers? Y yo hablando, ya los estaba regañando. Do we have volunteers to practice the conversation? Volunteer. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get on Sunday? At 10 o'clock? Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get at noon. Uh, do, you, do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then, let's meet at the restaurant at 1 o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. Thank you, Ruth. Okay, two more volunteers, two. I need a pair, two students. Okay, demole. Okay, Henry, thank you. Okay, one more. Okay, you're going to be Zach and Lorena. Okay, Lorena, you're going to be Amy. Okay, go. Okay. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekend. What weekend. time? What time do you get up on Sunday? At eight o'clock. 
Oh, that's early. On Sunday, get up at yeah. noon. Do you cut breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. All day. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yes, they serve. They serve breakfast all day. Okay, mm, no questions? It's clear. Yes. Okay, so simple present questions. And let's do this part. These questions are not on the platform, so we are going to practice quickly. We are going to make a quickly practice of this. Que you're going to complete using do or does. ¿Se recuerdan que ya habíamos visto esto el día de ayer? When we're going to use do, when we're going to use does, the uh, double H question words. So, yes, that's good. Or do you need a, a review? Oh, okay. So let's do the exercises. Okay, do you get up early on weekdays? Okay, y tenemos de este lado some time expressions. Okay, the time expressions will help you to, to notice that we are going, that, that we are using simple present tense. Son como, como las alertas. Time expressions nos ayudan a, a, a ver el tiempo que estamos utilizando. Okay, so if you use in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on weekdays, okay, está, podremos estar hablando de parts of the day, pero también estamos hablando de things that we do regularly. Could be habits could be routines, y habíamos dicho que el simple present lo vamos a utilizar en esas ocasiones. Yes, when you talk about routines, habits, etc. Entonces, por eso, esas time expressions nos van a indicar that we are in simple present tense. And it's important that you include some of them in your sentences or in your questions. Okay? Now, mm, let's complete. You're going to use do or does. Okay, Romeo, could you please read question number two with the answer that corresponds? What time do you go home? Excellent. Number three, Xiomara. Hola. Number three. Does your mother work? Yes. Number four, Adriana, Beatriz. How oh, does your father get out, get, get to work? Excellent. Number five, Jacqueline. Does your parents read in the in the evening? Okay, evening. Muy bien, dijimos que does lo íbamos a utilizar para third person singular, o sea, he, she, and it. Pero también vimos el día de ayer que parents se refería a mom and dad. So they are two. It's a plural. ¿Qué auxiliar entonces utilizaríamos para plural? Do. Yes. 
do so read again with the correct answer please do your parents read in the evening evening okay read do your parents read okay read in the evening okay thank you number six jonathan Jonathan, Humberto. Miss, lo haré por él. No escucha. Okay. Okay, Jonathan. Eh, yes. When do your parents shop? When do your parents shop? Yes, correct. Okay, number seven. You are going to think in another question using thus. Okay, Jose Angel. Does your, your brother work? Yes. Does your brother work? Near. Near, okay. Does your brother work near? Okay, excellent. Vamos a ver. Does your brother work near? Okay, number eight. Ana Mercedes. Eh, what time does your father uh, get up? Okay, great. What time? Does your father get up? Get up? Eh, pongámosle un complemento. On Sunday. On Sundays. Y en este caso, si agregamos la S, significa cada oh. domingo. Uh -huh. That's the difference. Uh -huh. Ok, great. Number nine. Elizabeth Orellana. Do un ejemplo. Do uh, yes, Ruth. Do you work on weekends? Okay, do you work on Do you work on wait on weekends? Okay, and number ten Eloisa. When Eh, Eloisa, Claribel, Volunteers, Henry,
Katherine. It's Cuando somebody yo there. Perdón. Yes, repeat, please. When do you come home? When do you come home? Okay, great. Mm, questions? Bueno, podríamos agregarle todavía un complemento. When do you come home? Um, well. It's clear this part. I hope yes. And now we can move to esta actividad ya le hicimos to section two. It does it have a view? It does the name of the the section the the section two. And we are going to start with the vocabulary. Okay, the vocabulary of the unit. Siempre son así de callados ustedes. Be sincere. Estaban juntos en, en, el, en el módulo anterior. Or no. You are not confident. I'm not. Even in Spanish, no. Not in English. Worse in Spanish. Okay. Déjenme ignorada, pues. Vaya, vamos con the parts of the house. Okay, what uh, we are going to name or complete the parts of the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Dora, I'm going to, to circle a part of the house and you're going to tell me the name. What is it? And let us start with this one here. What is the name of this part of the house? This one? Bathroom? Yes. Thank you. Bathroom. Okay, what about this one? Kitchen. Kitchen. Okay, this one? Bedroom. Bedroom. Um, this one. Stairs. Stairs. I. Stairs. This one. Living room. Living room. Living room. This chair. Okay. Chair. Well, chair, but the room of the of the house. Ya no lo usamos, creo yo, but the place in which we eat in family without cell phones without television. Table. 
the room, the whole room in the house. Yes. Dining room. Okay. And um, garage. garage. Thank you. Garage. Okay. This door. One, door. Okay. Door. Garden. Garden. Table. Excellent. Garden. Esta no está window. ahí. Window. Okay. Window. Table. Table. Ah, esta, pero es diferente. It's not only a table. Esta les aparece en el vocabulary de ahí de, del video. It's a small table. How do we call it? Coffee table. Because it's not a regular table, it's not small, it's not big, it's small or it's smaller. It's smaller than the table that we have in the dining room. Okay, a coffee table is small. And chimney. Chimney, okay. Chimney. Chimney. And this one? Roof. Roof. Esta no aparece, but in the video, see sí. this part. Laundry. Laundry, correct. Okay. So do you have questions about these vocabulary words? I think it will be easy. How many uh, floors does this house have? Three floors. Three, correct, three. First, second, and third, okay. No questions? No. Okay. Okay, let's practice the conversation. Section two. Wait. Vocabulary conversation. Yeah. Real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now, let's try to understand. Simple. Where is it? Okay, now you are going to work in pairs, but you are not only practice this conversation, 
you are going to create your own conversation. Okay, you can take ideas of that conversation, but you have to think or give real information about the place in which you live. Mm, I don't know if it is clear. Yes or no? Explain again. Información real de nuestro de donde vivimos. Yes. Y creando una conversación con nuestra información real. Así es. Yes, correct. So in pairs, van a utilizar esa, pueden utilizar de base esa conversación, but you have to give real information. If you have five bedrooms, if you have two bathrooms, if you have only one floor, okay, real information, información eh, real, okay, acerca del lugar en donde ustedes viven. Okay, so we are going to work on the breakout rooms. You will only have like eight minutes to work now, less. Well, eight. So you have to work uh, quickly. We are 20, so we need 10 rooms. Si no llega su compañero, me solicita el apoyo para yo poder moverlo a otro grupo. ¿Ok? Ok, go to the, to the breakout rooms and create the conversation. Do you need a photo of the conversation or do you have it? Go to the breakout rooms. Go to the breakout rooms. Muévase a la sala de grupos pequeños, por favor. Ahí le cayó la notificación. Move, move, move. You have to work in pairs. Van a crear una, su conversación. Angel. You are alone, right? Claribel, are, are you here? Oh, what happened? What's the problem? Uh, de momento, pues no contesta la compañera Claribel. Ah, ok. Vale, le voy a mandar a, a esta. Ah, tienen problemas de audio. Bueno, pero pueden escribir la conversación en el chat. But hurry up. And then you're going to read. Well, Romeo, you, you, have, you have to read the conversation. La que crearon la van a presentar después. Okay, try on the chat. Y si no, les mando a alguien más.
What happened, Marvin? Why why are you here? Marvin. Why are you here? Move to the breakout rooms, Marvin. Ya lo cambié de sala. Vamos, que lo están esperando, Marvin. Marvin. Número es la que vos Eso es, no es lo que no alcancé a ver yo. Porque como soy todavía en la cuestión del trabajo, no he estado viendo mucho la pantalla del teléfono. He estado tratando más que todo de escuchar. Pero de departamento... Family parents. Es que sí, eso. Cuando me dijiste la serie, que me sale del Word y sí. Página con el cuadro. Ah, sí, ya, ya lo vi, ya lo vi, ya lo vi. No se le escucha. Hola. Oh, sí. Sí, no sé se, cómo se me salió. Sacó. Ah, ok. ¿Y con quién estaba ah, trabajando? Me sacó. Víctor Manuel. Okay. En la sala 3. No, ahorita. Aquí me aparece que, que si me uno a sala 2, dice. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí. Ay. Son dos, dos, ¿cómo se llama? Dos cuartos, dos cuartos, ajá, y, las, y el cuarto de la lavandería. 
le estoy escribiendo según lo que me está escribiendo. Ahí él le va a caer en el chat, ya le estoy escribiendo en la conversación. Usted le va a hacer K, porque es Cater, y yo voy a hacer K, porque soy José. ¿Cuántos dormitorios dice? Dos. Vete, pues. Ya le estoy. Use, use English. No le estoy escribiendo lo que. Yo sí. Sería en el chat de aquí de, sí. de Zoom. Sí, pero... Okay, did you finish? No muchito. Okay. Okay, so I need two volunteers to present the conversation. O sea, una pareja. Jonathan. Okay, Jonathan and yeah. Anna. Great. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jonathan. I have a new apartment. Mm -hmm. My new... Ah. Sí. Mm -hmm. uh, hello, Anna. Uh, where is it? My new apartment is on San Salvador, exactly in Montserrat City. It is small, but very, be very beautiful. Uh, how is your new, new apartment? It has a small living room, kitchen, two bedrooms, and one bathroom. It has a garage? No, but I have a parking near my apartment. It's great. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Okay. Another two volunteers, please. Okay, Jose Angel and Catherine. Okay. Yeah. Guess what? I have a new house. What? No se te escucha, Jose. El micrófono. Uh, that's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. No, but my house has a, a garden, a little kitchen, a laundry room, a living room, and two bed bedroom. Where is it? Um, Mexicanos. Oh, nice. Um, yes, it does. I have a great view. Of another house. Oh. Esa no parte, no me cayó. 
Oh. <ríe> ok, great. Ok, good job. Ya sí, se apegaron bastante a lo que estaba ahí todavía. But... Ok, that's ok. Yes. Ok, do I have more volunteers? Henry. <ríe> Ok, Henry, a petición. Henry, with... Hello. ¿Con quién, Henry? Con la que me delató. No cambia mucho, entonces. ¿Quién fue? ¿Con quién estuvo trabajando, Henry? Alon. No, no, no. Estuve con... Wow, no me acuerdo quién estuvo en el grupo 1. Se me olvidó. So special. ¿Quién estuvo? Who, who, who was with Henry? Conmigo, pero, estuvo conmigo también, pero este, ay, sinceramente no muy, no le entendíamos mucho. Ay, Henry. Estoy es que no, cuando, cuando nos estaba explicando, yo le escuchaba cortado a usted, entonces no, no entendíamos cómo. ¿Qué en Elizabeth? ¿Con Adriana? ¿Con? Adriana. Yo. Ok. Guess what? I have a new house. Hi, Adriana. My house has two bathrooms, two bedrooms, one bath, and one cooking, garden. Uh, Solo que todavía no le he preguntado cómo es, porque Adriana le dijo, guess what? <ríe> es como esas niñas que le dicen, mira, me compraron tal cosa. Ay, yo tengo tal cosa. Ah, sí. Okay, so listen and, okay, try again, try again. Yo creo que ella no tiene la conversación. Ah, no, no la trabajaron. Bien, ya espero, yo tengo lo de Adriana. Eh, ella ya tiene lo mío. Ah, okay. Ajá, nosotras describimos nuestras casas y anotamos la de cada una. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay, so you can say, okay, Adriana's house has, uh-huh. ¿Empiezo ya? Yes. Adriana's house has five bedrooms, has two bathrooms, two living rooms, a bath, two room house garden, and two cooking. Okay, now Adriana. Elizabeth house has two bathroom, two, perdón, one living room, two bedroom, one kitchen, one garage, has one garden, and one laundry. Okay, okay. Muy bien. Remember when you use plurals, cuando usamos plurales, Traten de acentuar la S al final. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Now let's move to the next part. Ok, tenemos un ejercicio. I think we have... Teacher, tengo una pregunta. Yes. Yes. Eh... ¿Verdad que no sé si es correcto decir has two rooms? Eh, yes, 
because estamos hablando de la house. Entonces, uh -huh. el pronombre sería it. O sea, la casa tiene. No okay. sé si... It uh, has. Yes. Ajá. It es has. Como, ajá, es como decir it has, correcto. Ok, pero lo que me refiero es que se, es correcto decir, digamos, dos, tú, y pronunciar los, las habitaciones también en plural. Yes. Ah, okay. Gracias. Ok, ajá, it has two bedrooms. Es que digamos que el has va con, en concordancia con casa, y el tú va en concordancia con bedrooms. Ok, ya entendí. Gracias. Ok. Ok, this is the exercise. Ok. So we're going to complete with do, um, does, and will. According to the, the options that we have here. Ok, Linda. Do, 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 live. do, 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 me van a decir, me van a decir la respuesta completa. Uh, Linda, does you live in an apartment? Okay. Ya cambió de respuesta. Do, do you live, Linda, do you live in an apartment? In an apartment. Do you live in an apartment? Okay, next. No. No, I don't. I live in a house. Okay, no, I don't. I live I... in a house. Mm -hmm. Do you care? El, does, it, does, does it have okay. the four? Does it does have, it have uh -huh. a jar? Ok. En este caso, como es una pregunta, eh, porque no sé si esto le, le daría confusión con la pregunta que me hicieron anteriormente, porque decíamos has. ¿Verdad? Eh, it has two bedrooms. Pero en este caso, como es una pregunta y estamos utilizando el auxiliar al inicio, ahí no vamos a modificar el verbo. Entonces, ahí sí lo vamos a dejar have. Does it have a jar? ¿Ok? Para que no se vayan a confundir de que, por qué aquí vamos a usar have y no has. Porque estamos utilizando el auxiliar. Okay, la siguiente, yes, bueno, la pregunta era, does it, has, does, does it have a yard? Yes. It does. Okay, yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Okay, do you live alone? No. No, no, I don't. No. I live with my family. Excellent. No, I don't. I live with my family. That sounds nice. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have, muy bien, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes. Yes, I do. Have or sisters? Do have? Do have? Yes, I do. I, I have, have four sisters. Great. Really? Do do how? Do how? Does your house have many bedrooms? Okay, does your house have, have 
many bedrooms? Yes, it. Yes, it. Does. Yes, it does. It, 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 it has four. It does. Four. Four. Okay. Have Next. Do you have your one bedroom? Your own bedroom? Okay. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I. I do. I guess I do. Correct. Que recuerde que para las short answers vamos a utilizar los mismos auxiliares. Auxiliares. Yes. Y los mismos pronombres también, solamente con el do you. Ahí sí no, porque vamos a, a, a contestar I. I do or I don't. Okay. Questions about this part? Mm -mm. No? No. Okay. No questions. No questions? No. Muy bien. Recuerde estar trabajando en la plataforma. Eh, me parece que el día de mañana van a hacer revisión ya de la section 1 and 2. Eh, nosotros el día de mañana terminaríamos de ver la section 2. ¿Qué vamos a estar hablando eh, siempre de places to live? Okay, a house, an apartment, the rooms of the house, okay, and the objects that we can have in the different rooms. Okay. Me. Yes. En mi caso no me han agregado todavía. No la, no, no, no la contactaron. Sí, pero este, en el módulo como tal no me sale. No sé si ya tal vez mañana temprano me llega a salir, pero justamente ahorita eso le comentaba yo a José, creo que era que okay, yo no podía ver. Eso porque eso lo me hace el, el material. Para mí. Uh -huh. Y así eso le va a generar retraso. Un poquito. Pero ojalá que, que le, la consideren because it's not your fault. No es culpa suya, ¿verdad? Sino que. Pues me imagino que le van a dar un poquito más de tiempo. Pero por lo general, on Thursday, they check the platform. Si recuerden que si hacen los ejercicios, pero no le sale arriba del 80. You have to try again. Hágalo de nuevo, haga las correcciones para que la nota le quede arriba del 80. Because it doesn't matter if you complete all the platform, but if the answers are incorrect and you have a bad grade less than 80, you will not have your diploma. Okay? Okay. Este, okay. con, el, con el último ejercicio tenía una consulta este, la parte de, de la comprensión del texto uh -huh. eh, ya coloqué todas las respuestas posibles en el última la última respuesta y ninguna me la tengo correcta y, bueno prácticamente quisiera que me dijera usted creo que todo les va a dar igual el mismo problema de cuál sería la respuesta que tenemos que poner porque al parecer son two beds on the floor, la, la, la respuesta que tenemos que escribir, pero no, ni acepta ni solo tu vez. Es abajo abajo de la imagen, ahí están no. lo, lo, las palabras seleccionadas y las tiene que escribir concorde a como están escritas ahí. Sí, ya lo hice también, en el libro aparecen y le escribí las respuestas que tenía eh... igual no, no, me, no me las acepto. En el último dice, ¿verdad? Con respecto a eso, eh, yo lo agarré también y me confundí porque estaba contestando lo, de, lo del señor con las respuestas de la señora y de ahí me equivoqué de mi error y ya lo corregí. No sé si eso te haya pasado también. También hay un pedazo que el orden no es igual. Sí, sí, sí igual, ya lo corregí eso. Eso me daba la mejor. No sé si me, 
permite que compartir la pantalla para que vea la parte exactamente que, lo que le digo yo. Is this one? Exactamente, es esa, esa, esa parte. La okay. que le parecía mal a usted, eh, me parecía mal a mí también. No, no me acepta ninguna respuesta. Ahí la número tres. Las otras dos ya las perdí. De hecho, todas las tengo correctas. Las demás, ajá, el número sí. Ahí Está. tendría que ir to beds. Ajá. Que okay, Lorraine Nelson's house. To okay, beds in is, the floor, this. There is a... Pero si está, ajá, es que lo que pasa es que como está usando is, tiene que ser algo que sea en singular. Ahí está, wood burning stuff. Eso cerca de. Sí. Uh -huh. eh, esa de wood eh, burning par... stuff es la de The Rain. The Rain. El texto de la parte es ese. This bed, not the most people, but some people, not the... Ah, Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her uh, home. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Okay. Ajá, Entonces, correcto. En la primera, en la número uno de ese ejercicio sería a uh, Woodburn Stove. La número okay. dos sería Three Beds y la número tres sería Two Beds. Perdón, Three Shells en la dos y en la tres sería la respuesta Two Beds on the, on the floor. Pero no me la acepta, ni me acepta solo Two Beds, ni Some Beds, nada me acepta realmente. Ok. Bueno, de hecho veo que usted también no le acepta, entiende, y usted ya le escribió ahí tu beso de flor y tampoco le acepta. Y le incluyó los guiones. Eso pasa también, aunque no lleves los puntitos, guiones, eh, toda la gramática, también te la pone mal a veces. This one. There Ahí dice Inies. Yes. There are two beds. Es in. Es in. In. No, es in. Oh. in the floor. In. Ajá. Ahí está el error. ¿Se corrija? Sería two beds in, in the Yay! <laughs> okay, thank you. That's it. <clears throat> okay, alguien que me hacía falta de asistencia? Mercedes, Claribel. Present. Okay. Present. Mercedes, también. Present. Okay. Yes. Catherine um, Stephanie. Lourdes Paola. Mario Antonio. Verónica Elizabeth. Okay. So that will be all for today. We will see you tomorrow. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Get rest. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you.